this was taken in early 1953. We took our new babies down to show them off to Ellen Thompson, who lived next door to us in uh, Hawthorne. This is in the backyard of our next door neighbor in Lakewood, Andy and Mary Casella. We only took six pictures of 35 millimeter that year. We didn't have a camera and this was probably somebody else's camera, I guess. Steve learning how to play badminton. The boys were three years old, Esther was 29, and I was 32. That's Ms. Rawlins, Steve and Mike's kindergarten teacher in the blue dress and uh, seated between them. That's Mike on the left and Steve on the right. Their sixth birthday party in the backyard. Many people used to say they couldn't tell the boys apart, but it's easy to see that Steve on the left there has got a longer face than Mike has. And uh, Mikey's ears used to stick out just a little bit more than Steve's, too. In 1959, I bought a 35mm camera, so we took a lot more pictures this year, probably a couple of dozen. We used to spend our vacations every summer up in Levining, <laughs> camped on Levining Creek. One of the highlights of the week was when the fish truck showed up and got to get out and dumped a bunch of fish in the creek. The rainbow trout they planted was anywhere from 6 to 10 inches in length. And of course, they'd stay in one little hole in the creek for a whole day after they threw them in there. Used to make me madder than hell. And a lot of those old fogies that used to camp up there all summer, old bastards, <laughs> they'd run over there as soon as they uh, threw the fish in there and they'd run over there with their holes and their worms and salmon eggs and you know, they'd fish them all out in about an hour's time. Wouldn't leave any for the kids. Steve caught about an eight inch one here. Here they're showing off their fish. We used to catch some nice sized browns out of the creek. Browns were natives. This is a mess that we caught in the camp where we uh, first camped up there. It later was called a uh, Mazusa camp. This is one of the one of the lakes in the Sierras. Can't remember which one now. It's Norma and Esther standing beside our '57 Cadillac. It's Bill and Norma's car on the right. It's Bill and I at Doby Lake talking with an uh, old ranch hand named Fletcher. He used to come over and collect a dollar from us for uh, fishing on him in uh, Doby Lake. 
Milby used to be our favorite lake. Norman Bill, shown here. And uh, all four of us, or six of us, would go over to Dobie and we'd catch a good mess of browns every time we went over there. Ken with Steve, I guess, at Dobie. The boys sitting under that big rock. Uh, Guess as you come into June Lake. Esther at June Lake. Ken at June Lake. Steve at Le Levining Creek. I think that's Mike. Mono Lake from uh, the top at uh, Conway Summit. Here's the six of us having lunch in the backyard. Kurt and Tracy were about minus four months old then, since I hadn't been born yet. That's a little puppy Mike's holding. This is in August of 1960. I think it's the first picture uh, we took of uh, Tracy and Kurt. Why do babies hold their hands up like that? Like there's a stick up and somebody's got a gun in his ribs. Kurt's trying to figure out how that lace on Tracy's pants is made. Can't quite figure out what they're holding there. In September, we took a short trip down to San Diego and over into Arizona for a few days. This is Mike at the San Diego Zoo. Tracy riding a giant sea turtle. This is Esther with one of her relatives from the Hale side of the family. From San Diego, we took a swing down into Mexicali one day. Now it's really necessary to have real shiny shoes down in Mexicali. This is on the California side of the border in Calexico. This is a, some of the thousands of old World War II surplus aircraft, that, uh, military planes that were stored right near Tucson for a long time. Downtown Tucson. Esther at the Tuzigoot National Monument near Jerome, Arizona. The visitor center in Jerome. Jerome used to be a booming old copper mining town back in the 19th century. This is Montezuma's Castle. It's uh, south of Flagstaff. Ready to dive into a Thanksgiving turkey. Kurt was so hungry he was starting to eat his finger. They would eat just about anything. Sponges, wash rags, soap. I have a big tree this year because the little rug rats would tear it up. So we had to have a small one and put it up out of their way. Wear a guy out playing with these two.
Tracy got a Raggedy Ann, and Kurt got a Raggedy Andy, I think. What's that dad got there? Looks like a new jock strap or something. Or he couldn't hold Kurt back when it comes to getting into a new package. We got him a pinball machine that year. Or Steve and Mike really went for that. That's Jim Powell and his daughter, one of our neighbors. Used to have some great New Year's Eve parties. It's Esther laughing with Donna and Jim Powell. I was the official bartender, but Donna was my assistant, I guess, that night. <laughs>